Alright guys, how's it going? This is Andy from George Music and this week's video is a bit different from the four band covers I've been doing recently uh, and what this uh, video is all about is to show you how I get my metal tone um, and uh, one very integral part of this metal tone is using a program called uh, a PV Revolver and that's it right here. This is um, this is the uh, VST in action. What we've got here is we've got a track that I recorded earlier, um, and uh, you heard a snippet of it um, in the intro for this video. And um, let's just have a listen to the whole thing again. Um, this is about I don't know 50 seconds long. Okay, so this is the track right here. As you can see, it's a very simple setup. Um, like what we've got here, this top track in the purple is the kick, um, there's the snare, and you've got the overheads recording with the mics. Um, the, the tom mics are there, but they're right at the end, so the other time I use them, um, the hi-hats. And then you've got the two guitar tracks here and here. So these are the two guitar tracks, um, and left and right. Not hard, I've, I've basically done left 70 out of 100, 70%, and then this one is quite interesting. Right, so um, that's the whole track anyway. So what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to it again. This time I'm going to solo out the two guitar tracks so you can hear them uh, uh, unaccompanied. <laughs> Right, so um, let's just pull it down to just the left one now. Right, now I'll show you what's going through it. Basically, all I've got um, in the inserts for the channel and Cubase is just literally the valve and then the gate just to get rid of any noise when I'm not playing. Um, okay, so. Well, yeah, this is uh, this is the effects chain that I use on the computer. Uh, all I've got actually going into the interface physically before it goes into the computer um, is I've just literally got the guitar um, and that goes into a Ibanez uh, TS-808 Tube Screamer um, and my Tube Screamer settings are going to be uh, just posted in, in a quick annotation once I finish this video so um, yeah, uh, you'll find the settings there. Um, Okay, so, uh, right, I'll show you how important Revolver is right now, just for a laugh. Okay, so I'll take the effects up here. This is what it sounds like going into the computer. Ready? <laughs> okay, right, so, going back into the program. Uh, ACS, CS1, um, the best compressor, or the only compressor within this, um, Within this here, so the stomp boxes, and it's found right there next to the greener. Uh, basically, my settings for that is I just have the compressor, just um, you know, just not too much compression. So it's just like you know, it, it makes a difference, but um, it's not too, it's not too much. Basically, I just alter the settings so that you can see a little bit of the level meter move here, so that you know the compressor's in action but you know it's not just like fucking green all the way through. Um, after that, I have the flat hill um, head here. Basically, this is just a replica of the Mesa dual rectifier. Um, and my settings for this one are um, set to modern mode. The gain is on 4.14. I've got the bass set to 3.8, uh, well, 3.08. Uh, mid set to 4.81, treble set to 5.16. Um, the master volume, which actually makes a lot of difference, um, is set to 8. Because if you have, if you, I'll just, I'll just move. See, that's technically the master volume. But you can see that that sounds much thinner. So um, if you're finding your flat hill um, sound really, really thin, and you think it needs a bit more beef. A bit more mid, then you want to just you know push it, push the drive up until it gets that thickness. Um, if you do it too much, it becomes too mid range, and then it sounds a bit too you know woofy and a bit too noisy. So 
Okay, so now we move on to the actual cab settings, which makes all the difference. When you've got Revolver MK3, uh, MK3, um, you'll find that um, you've got uh, the RIR um, cab module here, and you've got all of these different impulses right here. And what an impulse is, if you don't know, is it's like a specified um, uh, recording of a WAV of. of a specific reverb of how you dig it. The reverb is of the cab and the mic that records it. Okay, what we'll do is I'll just show you an example, right? Uh, we'll go to a 65 of 5, 4 by 12, um, with an SX7A mic. <laughs> Right, this is the track again. Let's turn the compression back up to make it fair. Right. See, it sounds alright. It just it doesn't work as well. That's just an example. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm not going to go through all of the impulses, obviously, because um, that would take forever. Um, so that's an example of what you'd find within the impulses given to you with Revolver. I'm going to show you which ones I use, which ones I've downloaded. Basically, there's, there are these impulses um, from a guy called Guitar Hacks, and he made a shed load of these different impulses from Mesa Cabs, right? <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to find them so that you can get these uh, impulses for free. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to type in Guitar Hacks Impulses into Google. First link and you'll end up on guitarampmodeling.com and then this uh, relivethefuture.com link here next to the anime face. Um, so basically you click on that link right there and then you just open the RAW file Right, so after that, uh, what you've got is you've got all of these right here. You've got um, JJ Power Tubes, you know, Original 3 Impulses. You've got so much, so much to play with. So um, they're all good. They're all really, really good. Uh, let's just have a listen to some of the sounds which you can get. Okay, so that's, that's, one of, that's one of them. Let's... Right, so I'm going to multiple fragments straight into five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, so that's a pretty nice tone as well. Um, at this point, now that you've got all of these really nice modules, what you want to do is you just want to find something that fits within the mix of the music. So you're looking for just the certain frequencies that just sit in the level of the actual track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through them. That's a meaty one. Um, with some of these, some of these, I mean, they wanted to get some practical impulses in, in here anyway, so what they did is they made these really, uh, I like to call them safe impulses, because um, it's like, they're like tones like this, they sound good, but they're kind of poddish, in my opinion, they're like, uh, they don't have any standout frequencies that would um, genuinely come from the cap when you're recording it with the mic. I like the ones that have that one frequency. I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll try and find that one for you because that's another safe one. Yeah, stuff like that. You know, that's you've got you've got that high end frequency that's just coming through. That's just altered the sound of the cap right there. That's a great one because this is still kind of safe, but it's still it's still very distinct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that in the same one here as the guitar hack edge 45. Lovely sounding tone. Okay, so I'm just gonna unsolo all of these and listen to them in the mix. All you get is you get a really nice um, distinct guitar sound, but you've also you've also um, got it to actually work with the rest of the instruments. You've just listened to it for a while. After 
after listening to it, you can tell that it just works so much better than any of the ones, any of the impulses that you find with Revolver alone. Okay, so what comes after that? So now you've got your great tone, um, you've got the flat hill setting that you want, you've got the, you've chosen the um, impulse that you wanted. Now let's just fine, fine tune it. I found that with all of my tones that I find, I never touch this, uh, uh, this EQ rack right here. Basically, you want to get rid of some of the frequencies that you find with me. Let me just listen. Right, so listen to that. Okay, so you can hear there's a lot more woofing. You can hear that there's a, a bit of a higher end buzz to it, and that there's a low end sort of warble. Okay, so here. Uh, the first one I've got here is just um, a, a bog standard uh, 400 hertz reduction, and that's essential for any guitar tone. Any guitar tone that you have, you want to take down that 400 hertz, because um, otherwise it just sounds really muddy. Um, I take it down about f just over five decibels. Um, so yeah, I mean again, tweak it. That's the frequency there. Put it back down. So funny, if you do it too much, it gets rid of the muddiness so much that it just doesn't have any thickness anymore. So you want to get that balance. 11173, one, so 11,173 hertz. Um, I find that when you reduce that, it gets rid of the buzz. So I just. You really have to listen to that. Again, you might prefer it while it's low and chuggy, but to me it just makes it sound more processed and tinny, so I take that frequency out, and again, it encourages more of the mid-tones to come out. Um, and finally, I have 132 hertz right there, that's exactly where all the warble of the tone is found, so... That's, that's where you want your bass to be, really. So I'll just I'll reduce that up to that point. I'll put that down to 5.28, just like with the 402. And that's the EQ effects at the end of the day. If you want to do any further EQs, then you could do something where you just do a quick um, uh, high and low pass, just to make sure there's no sub frequencies and no really high um, buzziness. Um, and that's all right there. That's basically all I do to my tone. So yeah. So that's the track. That's how I do my guitars. And this is an example where I use only two tracks, um, pan left and right, the meta. I also have. Um, loads of ones where I'm using like a 65 or 5. That's much quieter. <laughs> and then there's a 65 or 5 head right there. And so yeah, um, that's the ins and outs of how I get my guitar tone. And you can find examples of this in my covers. Um, we'll start playing the music now. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe, um, comment if you have um, uh, any discussion matter um, and uh, yeah uh, network 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 uh, so yeah that's me signing off for this week um, I should have another cover by next week I've got a pretty good idea about what I want to do and I've had the week off so um, now it's time to get back to form um, I'll see you guys next week thank you very much for um, supporting me so far um, and subscribing and all the stuff and yeah, I will see you next time. Okay, right.